the mission hasn't gone wrong. Don't worry, Curly will be here. <laughs> Made it. Did you get it? From my dad's DVD collection. Invasion of the Cosmic Space Slugs. Fantastic! We've got to watch it now! this movie. The star and director. What's it going to be called, Den? Uh, Den Dare versus the spider dog and uh, pie tin monster from the moon of a menacing five. Ready, set, go! Oh, uh, hang on, Den. It's not in focus. No alien menace will get past Den Dare! <laughs> Can we do a take two, then? <sighs> Meow! Hang on. What was that? An alien robot meow. Aliens don't meow. They growl. How do you know? Have you ever heard an alien growl? Oh, try again. Go for it! <laughs> Result! That's it for Dende Space Station. Now we need to find an alien landing place. Aha! Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Isenthoid is non scriptus. Hmm, a common bluebell. <laughs> <gasps> How careless! Strange footprints. Somebody needs to be told to watch their step. Uh, it still looks like a playhouse to me. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've still got to add me special effect. Here, Nasha. <laughs> In you go, Pie Face. This is where the aliens appear for the first time. Uh. What do I say, Den? This planet is ours for the taking! Got it. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. And go, Pie Face! Go, Nasha! Oh, my goodness! It, it, it can't be, can it? A spaceship? <gasps> oh, no! A, a spaceman! And a hairy spider monster! 
monster. This taken is ours for the planet. Oh, aliens do exist. And they're invading Beano Town. I must warn humanity. This planet is ours for the taking. From me. Hey. Aliens! I've seen them, I tell you! Eh? What? Aliens, you say? Yes! Look! This taking is ours for the planet! Robot aliens? Spider creatures! And I just made myself a cup of tea and I saw this giant silver man walk past my kitchen window! I mean, if I could just call you back. No, it were terrible. Scared the living daylights out of me. I was just taking me pie out of the oven and this flying saucer swooped down and stole me wheelie bin. Oh, I nearly dropped me pie, I did. Oh, have you seen them too? Oh, I don't know where they're from. I'll be there as, uh, as soon as I can. Oh. Did they? Did they really? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Those fairies at the bottom of the garden told me this would happen. They did. Well, uh, the space aliens have arrived, people, so uh, here's a track to mark the uh, end of the world, all right? Aliens! Oh, cool! Danger won't let you invade his planet! OK, OK, we surrender, Den! And cut! So, that's it, then? I guess. Although a big disaster scene with loads of extras would make it mega special. Run for your lives. This is preposterous. What's going on? It's the end of the world! Aliens have invaded! <laughs> There's one of them! <laughs> Oops. Are we in trouble? Brilliant! What? This is great! Put your helmets back on and chase people! It'll look fantastic! <sighs> OK, if you say so. Right, uh, 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 you lot stay here, uh, and uh, I I'm going in. Let me come with you, Sergeant. No, Constable. This uh, uh, this is something I have to do alone. Oh, be careful, Sergeant. What is it, man? What have you found? Glow sticks I I in a playhouse. Oh, do you realise your little hoax has caused widespread panic? But I thought I was sure I... Really, Walter, I expect better from you. Very poor show. But... 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 Uh... I want a handwritten apology to every resident of Beano Town. On my desk, first thing. Yes, Mrs Creature.
finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. N no, wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha, but we're still short of a few vital parts. Water. Um, 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 um. Ah, just that ticket. Spick and span. Um, 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 um. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, <sighs> finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walterbot. A pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp, easy peasy. Wow, that's cool. Dembot rock. Denbot rocks. That is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Don't 
That's dead rot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Denbot! You mean a Den Walterbot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get pie face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Get ready for action! Go for it, Pie Face! One pie for me. <coughs> One pie for Robert! <coughs> Must go to school! School is good! OK, guys. Don't let me down. <coughs> <coughs> They work! They actually work! Ow! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete philosophic. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sus. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school. <laughs> oh, oh dear! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> this time you've gone too far, Dennis. It was only a water bomb, Dad. I was just having a bit of fun, and Sergeant Slipper got in the way. Fun? It's time you learned that you can have fun without being a menace. Impossible! You really have to start learning how to act more grown-up, Dennis. 
Who, me? Yes, and lesson one starts with you helping out at my old class reunion party at Beano Town School today. School? At the weekend? Not another word, Dennis. It'll do you good to see how well grown-ups behave. But school? Grown-ups? Oh, can things get any worse? I had to ask, do you have to dress up like that? It's on the invitation. Everyone has to wear traditional school uniform. My two boys off to school together. I'm so proud. That'll be the rest of the gang. The gang? Why didn't you say Pie Face and Curly were coming too? Hello, Dennis. Is your dad in? Come in, boys. Have fun. Oh. Come on, Nasha. I can't face this without you. Are you enjoying meeting all of Daddy's school friends, Walter? Oh, yes, Father. Everyone has been simply lovely. <laughs> Until now. We're here, boys! Ah, uh -huh, good. Dennis, what are you doing here? Dad made me come. What's your excuse? I thought I'd help Father make this a memorable reunion. That's the attitude. You could learn a thing or two from this lad, Dennis. Yeah, like how to be really boring. Hey, I thought the invite said school uniform only. That's odd. None of these other invites mention anything about... No, there must have been a mix-up at the printers. <laughs> mix-up at the printers. <laughs> That's a great... Hey, I smell a rat nasher. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Dad's been set up! <laughs> <laughs> I should have known old soppy socks would try to make us look bad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do? You can't let that sneaky swat get away with it. You have to get even. Nonsense. We're adults, not children. <laughs> That's taking the retro look too far. <laughs> I know. I guess some people just never grew up. Sad, really. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you, Dad? You, I, you, no, I am not. If he can play silly schoolboy tricks, so can we. Just this once, mind. Brilliant. Oh, oh for, for fun. fun. And fun for all. <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. I get the feeling this lot are going to need our help, Nasha. Five, six. This is the spot, boys. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> Bingo! Our secret school war chest. <laughs> Stink bombs. Itching powder. Launcher rackets. And these! One of my better inventions. A boomerang? With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just a little something I knocked up in detention. I mean, chemistry. <laughs> OK, fellas. We've got launcher rackets. All we need now is something to launch. That's where I can help out. Great. They'll do nicely. I'll pretend I didn't see that. OK, gang, let's go to work. Looks like Dad's changed his mind about water bombs, Nasha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> OK, let's have a picture of your wonderful teacher, Mrs Creature, and myself to remind us of our reunion ball. Ready? Steady? Fire! <laughs> Father! Dude. Maybe we should try that again, son. I seem to have something in my eye. Oh, bullseye! I think that's us all square now, gentlemen. You're all squares if you stop now. There's no need to cause more trouble, Dennis. It's job done and time to enjoy the party. Right, fellas? Um, yeah, let's get down there before that lot scoff all the grub, eh? <laughs> When you were at school together, was Dennis's father really voted most popular student every year? Yes. 
Lawrence, but I've made sure he'll not win this time. This time, it's my turn. That's not fair! We've got to do something, Nasha! All right! The time has arrived for everyone to vote for the reunion's most popular student. Congratulations, Father! Not yet, Walter. Make sure you judge your choice on their manners. Ready? Their intelligence. <laughs> Aim. And of course, their style. Fire! <laughs> Wait a minute, I recognise those. Boomerang Bullseye! Dennis, put my boomerangs back! Uh -oh. Your boomerangs? I should have known you'd be behind all this. Like father, like son. Come here at once. Me? No way! Dad didn't do it! I'm sorry, Mrs Creature. It's all my fault. If I'd behaved more like a grown-up than a menace, none of this would have happened. Far too late for apologies, I'm afraid. You've behaved so badly, I'm going to have to call your mother. Oh, no, not my mother. Come on, Nasha. It's time to prove who the real menace is around here. Serious? He's been causing half a at his old school. Throwing water bombs, cakes. My boy? Oh, it's a mess. Are you sure you don't mean Dennis? <laughs> OK, I'm on my way. This I've got to see. Your mother is coming to take you home, young man. Leaving the rest of us to enjoy the party without any more. Bravo! <laughs> gotcha! Dennis! Stop that boy! Ha ha ha! We have him now! That's the only way in or out! There's no escape this time! Get him! That's the last straw! <gasps> so, what's my naughty boy? <gasps> Mrs. Creature, what have you done? Dennis? Oh, I get it now. My grandson's arranged this room to get me here for a pie fight! <laughs> what the? I'd like to ask you all for a show of hands to vote on this year's most popular student before things fall into total chaos. I vote for you, Father. I vote for my gran. The fun didn't start till she arrived. The yes, that's right. Gran. I vote for her too. Gran. 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 You heard, Big Ears. My gran's won. I'll weld this to my helmet when I get home. Speaking of which, you're all invited to continue the party at my place when no rules are the rule. <laughs> Nasha, our work here is done. It's a shame you lost out on the trophy. Yeah, at least Soppy Socks lost out too, though, eh? And we've kept it in the family. With a little help from you. And you. Oh, and Gran. Talking of which, let's, let's go, go party! All oh, for fun and fun for And remember, Maximulcho Bark Mulch will stop those weeds dead in their tracks. See you next week on Gardens Galore. If Julian Acorn recommends Maximulcho, it'll be just what I need to get my garden in shape for Beano Town in Bloom. We're off to the garden.
garden centre to get some. All right, dear. See you later. Oh, don't forget Nasha's bath. No problem. Just leave it to me. And now the cup semi-final between Reno Town Wanderers and Drain. Oh, hello, Colonel. What ho? Seems friendly, but don't be fooled. When it comes to Beano Town in bloom, she's the enemy. Now, by the left, quick group. <laughs> Dennis! Mum says Nasha needs a bath. Oh, Dad, do I have to do it? Oh, you know he always goes berserk. Sorry, Dennis, I'm really busy. I'll have to leave it to you. <laughs> Nasha? You know, sometimes we have to do stuff we don't like. I mean, I have to do me homework and tidy me room and eat sprouts and stuff. And sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like, like going to the vet. And having flea treatment. And having a bath. <laughs> I should think you are. Not so much Beano Town in bloom, more bomb size on a bad day. <laughs> what are you talking about, Walter? Beano Town in bloom, the garden contest. Your mother was my main rival, but I'm sure to win now, thanks to you. <laughs> right, Nasha, that's it. We can't let Mum get beaten by Walter. Somehow, we've got to get this garden fixed up again. <laughs> Curly, call Pieface and get over here. I've got a gardening emergency. <laughs> what? Uh, what's with the horse? He's looking after it for his cousin. But ever since he's got it, he's been acting weird. What? Weirder than usual? He won't answer you unless you call him the Pie Crust Kid. OK, OK, fair enough. So, Pie Crust Kid, what's with the horse? This here's my Palomino, Sylvia. Pie Horse, Sylvia! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that all about? She does it every time I say, Hi, ho, Sylvia. <laughs> well, stop saying it then. It's not good, is it? Not good at all, Curly. I darn toot and don't see how. <gasps> uh, what I mean is, we'll never get it back to how it was. No kidding, Pie Face. Hang on, he's onto something. We can't fix it, so maybe we should try something totally different. You mean like. Bigger, better, more spectacular. That's the plan. Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Beano Town Towers? A stately home garden. Exactly. We'll make one just like it, except smaller. Garden. Stately? <laughs> In a state more like. <laughs> it just needs an extra something. <laughs> and I know just the something it needs. A pinch of down-home prairie fertilizer. Manure, my dad says you can't beat it. Hmm. Well, go on then. <laughs> What's happened to the garden? Dennis! What 
have you done? The garden's your mother's pride and joy. I know, Dad. Sorry. I was trying to give Nasha a bath, like you said, and it all got out of hand. I should have bathed him myself. This is all my fault. Don't worry, Dad. We'll think of something. There's no time, Dennis. We'll just have to face the music. You two can go home. No sense in us all getting into trouble. OK. See you, then. Right. Let's be off, then. See ya. You're bound to win Beano Town in Bloom, Walter. Your garden looks super. Well, it's going to look even better this afternoon because it's getting a makeover from Julian Acorn, the man from Gardens Galore. Golly, does your dad know him? No, my uncle does. Once he's added the finishing touch, my garden will be sure to win the grand prize. Ha! Here, that's not fair! Let's tell Dan. Hi! I mean, come on, Sylvia. So, Walter's getting Julian Acorn in. Cos his uncle knows him. And, and it's cheating, isn't it? Hang on. Did you say Walter's uncle knows him, not his dad? Yeah? Get into many small boys. I can feel a plan coming on. As soon as Nasha sees the TV van, he signals to Curly, OK? Then Curly signals to you and you alert me, right? Got yeah. It. Right, get into position. Ooh. It's on his way, pie face. Under control. Right. Ready, Dad? Remember, you're supposed to be Walter's dad. No problem. Delighted to meet you, Mr Acorn. Hi, I'm Julian Acorn. Uh, you must be Walter. Yes. How do you do, Mr Acorn? And you must be Walter's dad. Indubitably. Delighted to meet you, Mr Acorn. We're big fans, are we not, De uh, Walter? Oh, yes. Double indubitably. Gardens Galore is my very favourite programme. Great. Well, then, uh, let's take a look at your garden. Hmm, it's a tricky one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hello, anybody home? Out here, dear. Ta da! <laughs> My garden! It looks. fantastic! Yes, thanks to Mr. Acorn here. Mwah, mwah. Delighted to meet you, dear lady. Oh, oh, Mr. Acorn. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> but how... I mean, why did you pick my garden for a makeover? Well, apparently it was all the idea of your little lad Walter here. His uncle called me. But my son's not called Walt. Oh, Dennis! So, who won Beano Town in Bloom, then? The Colonel. The judges said he had a very disciplined approach. Your mum would have won if she'd gone in for it, though. Yeah, but you know mum. As the garden had a professional makeover, she thought it'd be cheating if she entered. At least Walter didn't win. Not very likely, Pieface, seeing as you totally lost control of Sylvia. <laughs> There's just one thing left to do. What's that, Dan? Nasha's bath.
would have thought it? Allergic to his own pet. We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. OK, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! Brilliant! Uh. Oh, it's Dennis! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Uh. Whoa! Watch it, pie face! Sorry. Falling, falling! Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir! Dennis, sir! Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs, so Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course, He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. <laughs> then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right! Son. All right! I mean, thanks, Dad. I mean, uh, oh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the, uh, all the dog airs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but... I miss my slippers being half-chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's... Peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? It's time for Plan B. Etc. Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Oh, easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh, oh my face! All right, dog. Let's 
Let's be having you, you little troublemaker. Right? What the? Oh. Ha! Rough! Rough! Here I am, in the van. Wolf! Wolf! Best place for you, naughty sausage thief! Oh. Right, who did that? It was a naughty boy. A very naughty boy. Oh, it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground the mints myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where, where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a flight of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. I'm grateful, mongrel. Uh, I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. <laughs> Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Curly, it's Saturday. 
Yeah, and guess what? The fair's in town! The fair? Give me five minutes! Choo-choo! Here comes the train bee! Good girl, bee. Dennis, that's disgusting. Sit down and eat properly. No time, Mum. I I'm meeting Curly and Pieface at the fair. Oh, no, you're not. I need you to look after B while I'm at my relaxation class. Oh, Mum, can you take her with you? Well, that wouldn't be very relaxing, would it? Yeah, it'd be fine. B could chill out too, couldn't you, B? <coughs> See, she said yes. No more argument, Dennis. It won't hurt you to look after your little sister for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. <laughs> what are we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? <laughs> Balls of foam rubber. Oh, yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. <laughs> Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pieface, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety in it. More than my job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Calls chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We were only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that! <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and Bouncy Castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Come, Bouncy Castle. Happy do a poo! <laughs> hey, B, look. It's not my fault. You just can't. 
Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I oh, don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. Must have been helium, like he put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, B? B? Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't you going to like? B? B flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. another class for next week, so I might want you to look after B again. That's all right, Mum. B's no trouble. Are you, B? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> uh, 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 I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. <laughs> <laughs> 